It's umsum time! What if humans were cold blooded? Easy peasy. I'm already cold blooded. What? <laughs> oh, umsum. Warm blooded creatures like birds and mammals can maintain a body temperature which is higher than their environment. Oh. Mm. While cold blooded animals like reptiles and fishes cannot regulate their internal oh. temperature. It actually varies based on external temperature. Huh? Mm. Now, if humans were cold blooded, firstly, <laughs> sunbathing would become extremely popular because cold blooded oh. animals need to first warm up in order to <laughs> remain active. Mm. Secondly, tourism would take a big hit as it is not easy for a cold blooded animal to easily adjust to different climactic conditions oh. like a warm blooded animal does. <laughs> Thirdly, restaurant industry will suffer as cold-blooded animals require much less food as well as energy. Mm. On the flip side, as less bacteria and viruses can survive in low temperatures, there will be less chance of infection to us. Mm. What if humans suddenly disappeared? I am not human. I will always be there. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Firstly, all the animals on the planet will be one happy lot. They will surely have one great after party. Secondly, global warming will be a thing of the past. Global temperatures will slowly but surely return to pre-industrial revolution levels. Thirdly, domesticated animals all around the world will be sad as days of free food will definitely be over. Fourthly, Nature will reclaim its rightful place. Trees and bushes will start shooting out of buildings, factories, and bridges. Mm. Fifthly, although plastic might stick around for a long amount of time, stock markets will drop to zero. GDP will not matter anymore. Money will just be another piece of paper. Lastly, rats and cockroaches will miss the trash which we humans use to generate every day. Mm. What if our brains huh? communicated with each other? Then everybody will know that I love chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> oh, um some. Firstly, all of us would suddenly become psychic. Mm. Secondly, this will prove to be great news for deaf <laughs> as well as dumb people as they will be able to easily communicate with everybody. Mm. Thirdly, over time, Due to evolution, we may lose our ability to speak as there will be no need for the same. Mm. Fourthly, if our brains were able to communicate with each other over long distances, then mobiles will suffer the same fate that letters did when internet was invented. <laughs> Fifthly, CEOs of courier and telecom companies will be very huh? sad as company stocks may go down the drain. Mm. Sixthly, surveillance may no longer be possible. No more phone tapping. Mm. Lastly, oh, singers oh, might be a worried uh, lot huh? as their yeah. years of practice might go in vain. Mm. What if we walk 10 miles every day? You walk. I will just order my burger online. <laughs> oh, um, some. There are lots of positives if you do so. Firstly, your chances of getting fresh air will increase. Secondly, there will be great psychological benefits of enjoying the surroundings as well as meeting oh. new people. Thirdly, science says that good exercise leads to better sleep, which leads to higher overall energy levels. Fourthly, if you are overweight, oh, then this will definitely be helpful. You will burn a lot of calories and lose weight. Fifthly, it will make your heart strong by keeping the cardiovascular diseases away. Lastly, your leg muscle endurance and bone strength will also increase. On a funnier note, you might get inspired to participate in Tour de France or the Iron Man Challenge. Note that if you are suffering from knee or ankle pain, then walking 10 miles every day should be avoided. What if everyone went vegetarian? Then I will turn pizzatarian. <laughs> no. Meat industry requires a lot of land to feed and maintain livestock. This leads to deforestation and an increase in greenhouse gases. Turning vegetarian would free up that land, 
restoring at least 70% of it to natural forests, thus cooling the planet. <laughs> also, today there are around 1 billion cows who excrete large amounts of methane. Methane is a deadly poisonous gas, 20 times more harmful than other greenhouse gases. Cutting out meat would decrease methane in the atmosphere. Human deaths would also go down. Chronic illnesses, cancers, strokes, etc. would drastically reduce, leading to reduced medical costs as well. However, the meat industry generates a lot of employment. We would need to think of alternative employment measures if everybody goes vegetarian. But the overall positive impact on the climate, our health, and the planet cannot be ignored. Mm.